Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be reading scales. Hi Niall, and you've got a poster behind you with different scales on them. What will we be doing today? So these red bits mm -hmm. mean that what number is it pointing to? And we have numbers to numbers. Yes. Like the top one, 20 to 30. Okay, so we'll be finding out those two numbers in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So how do we go about doing this? Do you have any ideas? Let's look at the first example. So this is 20 to 30. Mm -hmm. So we want to count how many of these bits there are first. How many spaces we have. Okay. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So in the middle of 20 or 30 is 10. So that means it's going up in ones. Very good. So there's a difference of 10 from 20 to 30 and we've got 10 spaces. Yeah. So exactly what you said, we're counting up in one. So why don't you tell us the first number? Our first number. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that arrow is pointing to? 24. Very good. What about the second arrow? You can continue 24, on. 25, 26, 27, 28. Brilliant. 28. Good job, Niall. Let's look at... 29, 30. Let's look at the second example now. Using the same method... First of all, figuring out how many spaces you have. Why don't you do that first? So, 0 to 100, the difference is 100. Mm -hmm. But, obvi obviously, we can fit 100 gaps. Okay, so it's definitely not going up in ones. Yes. Okay, so how many gaps do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, sorry if you can't see this knob, that because it's kind of blocking it. So it's it made okay. it look we like can, one gap. You can just shift that up if you wanted to. So we've got 10 spaces. And what did you say the difference between 0 and 100 was? 100. So what are you going to do now? Hmm. I need to think what goes up in 10s and reaches to 100. So you need to see how many lots of 10 you yeah. can get in 100. So, in other words, we're dividing 100 by 10. I think I got it. What is the answer? What do you think? I think the answer is 10, but we need to work it out just to make sure. Okay, can you check all the way across to see if we get there? Yeah. In 10s. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I was correct. There is 10. Now we need to figure out where these knobs are pointing to. The arrows, okay. So straighten the next arrow and tell us. Um, 0, 10, which okay. is quite easy. Mm -hmm. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Excellent. Well done, Niall. Okay, let's look at the third question. 0 to 1,000. And if you didn't know, there are 10 100s in a 1,000. Very good, Naya. There are 10 hundreds so in a 1,000. Just got to count how many. Okay, so yeah. how many spaces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 again. 10 spaces again. That rhymes. <laughs> and the difference between 0 and 1,000 is? 1,000. 1,000. So we've got to split up 1,000 into 10 equal spaces. But something you just said before can really help us. You said 1,000 is equal to what? 10, 100. 10 hundreds, yes. So what happens if we split a thousand or ten hundred into ten equal parts? They're all split up into one hundred because 
10, I mean 1000 divided by 100 equals 10. Very good. So can you count up in hundreds just to make sure that we're correct? Zero. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 100. Which is a thousand. Good job, Naya. So tell us the value of those two numbers that the arrows are pointing to. Zero, 100, 200. So the first one is 200. Yeah. And? 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. And 700. 800, 900, 1,000. Okay, let's go on to number Four. Okay. So two hundred to three hundred. Okay, but it's not ten spaces this time. Can you yes. tell us how many spaces there are? Um, one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what are we splitting? We are splitting. Um, What's the difference between 200 and 300? 100. Okay, and we're splitting 100 into how many parts? Five. Okay, do you know what 100 into five equal parts is? Um, 20. 20, 20, very good. So can you check that it's 20 and make sure, can you count across? 200, start at 200. 200? Yes. 220? Yes. 240? Yes. 260? Yes. 280? And? 300. So you're correct, it's 20. Yes. So what's the value of the two numbers? Um, so 200, 220, 240. So the first one's 240 and? 260, yes. 280. 280. Okay, and the last one has three arrows or nubs, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so you've got to find the value of three different numbers. So you think about it, have a look. But this is 300 to 500. The difference between 300 and 500 is what, 200? Okay, but... Do you need to know the difference between 300 and 500 because there's another number in the middle there's there? There's in the middle, 400. Okay, so what can you tell me about the position of that first arrow? It is in the middle of, but of 300 and 400. So does that help you? You said it's in the middle of 300 yeah. and 400. And the difference between 300 and 400 is 100 and half of 100 is 50. So that means the answer is 50, just like that. Is it 50? 350. 350. And you should know that halfway between 300 and 400 is 350. Yeah. So what does that tell you about the value of each space? So between that 300 and 350, how many spaces do you have? One, two... Three, four, five. Okay, so five. So it's counting up in what? If it has five spaces to go from three hundred to three hundred and fifty. T E N. Ten. Brilliant. So can you count all the way up in tens from the start of your scale to the end? Three hundred, three hundred and ten, three hundred and twenty, three hundred and thirty. Three hundred and thirty. Yeah. 340, 350. Okay, so we'll stop there. That first one is 350. Continue. 360, 370, 380, mm -hmm. 390, 400. 400. So that works out. Continue until you reach the next arrow. 410, 420, 400 and... 430. So that second hour is 430. Okay, continue. 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, 480, 
500. So what's the last one? One, two. 480. Hello, welcome back. Now we have got some fresh posters, a scale, yes, and a measuring jug. Okay, and we can read some scales using these as well. Yeah. So we've been doing some volume recently. So why don't we apply some of that knowledge and show everyone at home how we can work out different volumes using that jug. First of all, what measurement is it using to measure the volume? Millilitres. Millilitres. And what do we have right up at the top? One litre. And, and we forgot to put our last zero millilitres. Why would you need zero? It'd be empty. Ooh. Would you need to read when it's zero millilitres? No. Let's first of all, how much is that litre at the top in millilitres? One thousand millilitres. And by the way, we forgot to put on millilitres. No, I didn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I intended to do it like that. So can you count out, can you show us reading out the ones that we can see in red? 200 millilitres, 400 millilitres, 600 millilitres and 800 millilitres. And don't forget our one litre which is equal to 1,000 millilitres. Okay, very good. So what about the halfway points that don't have numbers? Um, that is... Point to the one between 400 and 600. It equals 500. 500. So now can you count up from the bottom? 100 millilitres, 200 millilitres, 300 millilitres, 400 millilitres, 500 millilitres, 600 millilitres, 700 millilitres, 800 millilitres, 900 millilitres, millilitres, 1,000 millilitres, 1 litre! Okay, good. So just to finish off with that one, where is 650 millilitres? Here. Halfway between? 600 and 700. Okay, very good. Okay, let's look over there now. My weighing machine. Your scale. So what is that measurement in? Is there anything there that gives you a clue? Grams. Grams. G for grams. And what kind of things can you weigh using a scale like that? Anything that can fit on the top of it. So why don't you show us where 300 grams is? It says right here. Okay, brilliant. 300, which means 300 grams. Don't forget our grams. Okay, and where is 600 and 50 grams. 600, 700, there's no 50, but in the middle there is a line. Okay, and even if there wasn't a line, we know that 650 is halfway between. Yeah, 700 and 600. 600 and 700. Okay, now let's do one more to finish off. Can you show me where 575 grams would be? 500, I'm going the wrong way, 575 in the middle of 550 and 600. Okay, fix it. Very good. Oh, sorry. Excellent. That was really good. And that comes to, to the, the end. end of our video. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you don't subscribe now, bye. Don't forget to press that like button.